Hi, let's talk about from servers like communication. So you are given a metric and represent n by n and then uh, one means that on the cell there is a server, zero means there is no servers. Two servers are said to communicate if they are on the same row or the same column. So return a number of a server that commu communicate with any other server. So for example one, these two are not intersect with each other. So it's not on the same column, it's not on the same row, right? This is first row, this is second row, this is first column, second column, so you return zero. Uh, they didn't communicate with each other. So for this, uh, for this one, this communicate with this, this communicate with this, so it returns three. And example three, you leave this alone, right? This doesn't uh, have any uh, servers that is on the same column or same row. So this is actually return four. So uh, how, how you actually do it is you actually need to count the number of a server on the row and the col column. And if you traverse again, you just have to make sure uh, if this row uh, is greater than one. Um, if that is true, then you just keep adding. If not, then uh, you, don't, you don't add and then you return the number you just add. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. So it's actually, um, I'm going to say, uh, and n equal to group dot length and equal to three and then zero let's say column so i need another one uh which is a uh, row of prompt equal to new in the m and also i need another one that's column prompt that's going to be new in m then i need to convert uh, m add plus plus Oh, and also this j less than n and then j plus plus so if anything is not zero right then we need to take care of it but if that is uh zero then we ignore right if we if i j uh is not equal to one then we just continue we just ignore and if that is true, then I can say row, uh, row count at i, which is plus, column count at j, which is plus as well. So later on, I will just have to traverse again. So I'm going to traverse the entire, um, uh, entire metric again. So I need to have a, a return value, I'm going to say int, re uh, int result, and then return result. So if it's not equal to one, then we continue. If that is true, if if we ij is equal to one, then we have to make sure uh, if the uh, row count at i is greater than one, or column column count at j is greater than one. If that is true, then it's definitely communicate with at least one server, right? So you just keep adding, and that will be the solution. And uh, let's just run it and see what happens. Alright, it's good. And also good. So let's talk about time and space. So for the time and space, um, uh, time, uh, time complexity. So you have to traverse every single one cell in the matrix. So that would be all of n times, times n. So n times n is a time. And also I need a space, right? And which is, um, n times n as well because what happens if you store every single one uh, in the in the row count and then column count in the array so that would be a worst case and that would be the solution and if you have any question leave a comment below subscribe if you want it and press a like if you feel helpful all right peace out bye